there are those who have said, for example, you know, and I think that one of the critical reasons why there is some suspicion about the way things have gone is because the current president is a Fulani man. If he were not Fulani, it would be easier to say, oh, well, I mean, because don't forget that 2011, from 2001, several, several different, but nobody ever bothered. But where you have a Fulani man in, in office, and Fulani headsmen are killing people. It's very suspicious, <laughs> isn't it? Oh, yes. That's the reason. Well, that's the reason. That's, 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 that's clearly the reason. Without that, I mean, we, because nobody in the past, I mean, look at Joss, for example. Look at Plateau State. Plateau State from 2015 up until the last killings in, two, uh, in, the, uh, in um, just this year, where over 200 people were killed, Plateau State had been completely peaceful. The last attacks was in 2014, where over 1,000 people were killed. From 2014 to, from 2015 to, 20, to, to the last one of 200 people killed, where there was, you know, the, 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 the um, killings in uh, Riyom local government and back in Ladi local government, Plateau State actually celebrated almost two years of peace. In fact, the, the churches came together, everybody celebrated years of peace until that until that incident so there is a so 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 there is in my view a great uh, opportunity for us to take advantage take economic advantage of the situation and for us to be able to, to ensure that those the, the the herdsmen and the farmers are able to live side by side and do their businesses side by side if, if and i think that that opportunity has uh, presented itself and we can certainly do a lot more